Scary Things Kids Say Part 31 Back in the day, my younger brother used to tell us about his other grandparents and the blue house they used to live in. After always telling him he was making it up, he told our mother he could bring her there. So we went for a drive. And this five-year-old little psycho gave her turn-by-turn -turn directions for close to 45 minutes. We ended up four to five towns away at a dead-end street with an abandoned blue house. What the f- Walking with my two-year-old in a cemetery by our house. Don't be surprised if something happens then because you're over there walking by a cemetery. She says, Mommy, who is the man in the red jacket by the stone house? She pointed to a mausoleum. There was no one there in the cemetery. He's waving at me. She waved back. He's coming over to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am, not today. I'll be running away from there real quick. He's coming over to talk, and t talk to me? No, maybe talk to you. You can stay back and talk. Scary Things Kids Say Part 32 When my son was three, he started singing a Polish nursery rhyme that my husband's grandmother used to sing to all the babies in the family. She passed away before my son was born. We don't speak or sing Polish. My daughter from a severe brain injury when she was 11 weeks old was in a coma for three days. For years afterwards, when it rained, she would comment, Smells like God. So if you ever wonder what God smells like, you're welcome. My daughter was about five when she says, you're the best mommy I've ever had. I said, I'm the only mommy you've ever had. She looks at me and says, no, you're the third, but I like you the best. I was hiking alone in the woods with my son, who was seven. It was eerie quiet. Out of nowhere, he says, the woods demand a sacrifice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this little kid has been watching way too much scary movies. Uh-uh. Scary Things Kids Say Part 33 1991, worked at a pediatrics office, screening a 5-year-old for therapy. He lived in the country, no friends, homeschooled, parents had no TV. Mid-screen, he looked at me, says, Your brother saved my life in the desert storm. I went cold and pale. My brother was in Iraq. We're all gonna die. I know, sweetie, that's just part of, you're gonna die tomorrow. When my niece was seven, she asked us why we were keeping all the dead grandmas in the attic. Then she laughed. <laughs> I was watching a pre-k class while the teacher was out and the little girl walked up to my belly, pointed and said, there's a little tiny baby in there. There's a little baby in there. I was pregnant but hadn't told my job. Scary Things Kids Say Part 34 When I told my three-year-old I was pregnant and had a baby in my belly, she kept saying, no, two babies. A couple weeks later, it was confirmed I was having twins. Twins were thought to be boy and girl, but three-year-old kept telling me they were her sisters. So jokingly, we asked her when they would be born. She pointed to November 28 on the calendar. Sure enough, they were born November 28, 2012. That sounds cool, but like imagine she starts like predicting stuff that you just don't want to happen. Mm. I'll be scared. When my daughter was two, I found her under the table with one of my husband's old children's books, turning pages as if she were being read to. I asked her what she was doing. She said, reading with grandma. My husband's mother died two years before she was born. It was her book. Kinda cute, kinda creepy. Scary Things Kids Say Part 35 On several occasions, my son referred to the guy in our old house. He's big like daddy, but it's not daddy. He'd tell me guy was standing in the dark hallway. After no talk of it for several months, one day he suddenly looked up at the ceiling and whispered, Guy is back? No thanks. Not creepy, but... Waiting for a phone call to tell me how many days, weeks my mother had left after months with terminal cancer diagnosis. My three-year-old not knowing diagnosis or about expected phone call insists repeatedly, Nana is okay now. Get call, cancer is gone. My dad died a day after his birthday, so on his birthday, we were all sitting and sad. My niece, four years old, walks to my mom and said, Grandpa's here and says don't cry. His heart is sore too. She never met him. Mom asks, how does he look? She said, like Auntie Mapul. Oh my god, am I pronouncing that right? Yes, I'm a copy of my dad. Scary Things Kids Say Part 36 When my daughter was two, we were walking above a creek and stopped to look at it. She stared at it silently and then pointed and said, I died in there. 
<laughs> a kid I babysat once asked me to play in the basement and when we were down there playing, he said, when they put you in a box and nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you down here either. Then he bit me. I'm not saying I would fight a kid, but uh, yeah. My aunt died when my niece was a month old. When she was like three or four, she asked to go outside and swing, so I took her. Her other swing was moving, but I thought it was just the wind. My niece started talking to it, and I asked who she was talking to, and she said, Annie Mae Adams, my aunt. Whew. Scary Things Kids Say Part 37 Putting my half-brother down for a nap, he goes, I can't sleep with the mean little boy staring at me. Points to the dark closet. We didn't take a nap and went to the beach instead. <laughs> This was my first. At the store, we'd had a nice day picnic at the park. Suddenly, he grabs my hand, squeezes real hard and says, Mama, when you die, I'm gonna make a little you so I can keep you always. Like with your skin and eyes, probably not your insides, all smiles. Five-year-old, can I marry you? Me. No, sorry, sweetie, I have a boyfriend. Five-year-old, thanks for a second. What if he died? I mean, what if he died? <laughs> The little boy got game. Creepy game, but he got it. Scary Things Kids Say Part 38 One of my kiddos drew a picture of an airplane and then said, All the people in the airplane are trapped. I said, What? She then drew orange flames everywhere and red blood everywhere else and said they had all died and no one would ever find them. This was the same week that flight from Malaysia went missing. Once, when my daughter was four, she was waiting for me at the end of the hallway. When I reached her, I said, come on kiddo, let's go. And she said, mom, I'm not waiting for you, I'm waiting for them. Then pointed at the empty hallway and smiled. Cool, 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 cool. Woke up in the dead of night in total darkness. Thought someone had called for me, but all was quiet. Didn't notice that my three-year-old had crept in and was standing directly beside my bed until he whispered in my ear, I used to have a train set when I was a grandpa. What the f- <laughs> I would've chewed, chewed, chewed his ass out of there, hell nah. Scary Things Kids Say Part 39 My three-year-old Mama, what happens to us when we die? Me panicking, not ready Oh, um, well Three-year-old Oh, never mind, I remember We become new again Smiles, walks away I was babysitting for my mom's co-worker, six to seven. He was playing some video game when he got up and somehow locked us in the basement. Standing in front of the door, he slowly turned to me and said, Now you're stuck with us. He was an only child, so I was confused as who the F us was. I called his mom to say we're locked in the basement and she goes, I told him not to do that. He likes to keep everyone he likes down there. Uh-uh, I would not be babysitting after that. My daughter told me that the place where she was before she was born had a bunch of babies waiting to be born except they aren't babies there they're all five and they pick their mom and then go in her tummy whoa that's crazy scary things kids say part 40 i had just bought my kid a white stuffed bunny his response when i was your dad i got you one just like this then you didn't see me anymore he's named after my dad who i didn't see for 12 years after he gave me the bunny we talked when I was 14, he died the next year. Three-year-old alone in the tub, sitting to one side, starts getting visibly upset at nothing on her left side. Tell him I don't like that. Tell him to leave me alone. She started crying uncontrollably. He won't leave. Reader, I got her out of the tub immediately. I don't like that one. I came out of the bathroom to find my son waiting for me, four years old. He said, the booby traps have been set. Ha, good luck. Then he walked away. Like, four-year-olds are creepy AF, but also they're tiny. Getting yeeted. He's getting yeeted out of it. <laughs> Guys, I'm totally kidding. I would never hurt a kid. I'm going to yeet myself. Okay, bye. Scary Things Kids Say Part 41 Okay, I got one. My classroom are four-year-olds. Back in summertime, we were on recess outside in a hot day, and the kids were playing like a pretend ice cream shop at the countertop in the play equipment. So one of the kids hands me an invisible ice cream cone. Naturally, I play along. So I ask, what flavor? He goes, skin. I'm like, what? Thinking he said something that sounded like that real flavor, but I just misheard. He doubles down, skin see those kids over there and tells me how he's going to make ice cream out of their skin my son at five years old daddy i'm gonna eat you up oh yeah i'm gonna cut you into little pieces 
I woke up to a three-year-old kid petting my head. I asked what she needed and she said, I wish I had a piece of you that I can carry with me all the time. Like your finger. Haven't slept soundly since. Eek. Scary Things Kids Say Part 42 My mom went upstairs for a nap. My middle son asked her if she was happy she'd be seeing Jesus soon. When my twins were born, one of them took longer to talk. When she did start, it was in fluent Spanish, which we don't speak at home, nor does anyone who had come in contact with her at the time. I woke up in the night, my four-year-old twin standing on the end of my bed. Me, what are you doing? Them, you don't see us, mama. We're not here. No thanks. When I was about 16, I was in a grocery store with my mom and a tiny child I had never seen before suddenly latched himself around my leg. Wouldn't let go, kept insisting that I was his first mommy, sobbed when pried off me by his actual mother. What the hell? Scary Things Kids Say Part 43 Subbing a kindergarten class, a little girl walks up, stares at my chest. You have big boobies. My grandma had big boobies. She's dead now, and her boobies are rotting off. Is it almost recess? <laughs> me, my mom, and my niece were out shopping, and my mom picked out a dress, and my niece said, that would look nice if you wore it to a funeral. On her way home from the store, my mom got a phone call that her cousin passed away and she wore that exact dress to the funeral. Walked in on my last, turning all her stuffed animals around. What are you doing? I just can't sleep with all the eyes watching me. I don't know how you do it. I noticed my son carefully examining his food. He looked at it carefully, sniffed it, and tasted a tiny bit. I asked if something was wrong. His response, what if it's poison? He is three. He did that ritual at every meal for years. He's a smart little man. Scary Things Kids Say Part 44 Six-year-old, I'm going to destroy the earth. Me, wait, what's going to happen to me? You'll burn with the world. Ouch. And then I'll move on to other planets. <laughs> I work with fourth graders, had one boy chipping the yellow paint off a pencil. Look me dead in the eye and say, I'm scraping this pencil like I want to scrape my teacher's skin. When I was four, I spoke in Swahili as a second language, and no one knew how I learned it. I said it was my aunt from Hollywood who taught me. I don't have an aunt from Hollywood. I didn't know anyone who spoke that language, but I knew it and used to talk to my imaginary friends. Does fruit scream when you peel it? <laughs> Scary Things Kids Say Part 45 Little girl, about four, my friend's kid obsessed with this horse cartoon DVD. One day, out of the blue, she's watching it, hits eject, pulls out the DVD, and immediately snaps it in two. Not a word. Same girl, a year later, watching her climbing a tree in the yard. Falls out, she stands up, arm dangling at an unnatural angle. Not a word, not a tear, freakiest thing I've ever seen sweet not scary to me when my youngest son was quite small he would tell us about how he used to be with papa in heaven and things they'd do he would describe papa perfectly using some of his phrasing i got pregnant with owen a few months after papa passed away that one's kind of sweet so many to choose from but it would have to be the day sitting on my sofa heard a scratching noise meant to get my attention looked up and saw this i can smell your fear that's a big nope from me Scary Things Kids Say Part 46 One of the kids I used to nanny would wake up before his brother, hide in darkened areas of the house, and make the noise like the kid from The Grudge. He would keep doing this until I found him, so I had to go into dark rooms looking for the sound. I've been babysitting this little girl since she was maybe two. Her birthday is June 6th of 2006. You know, 666. And one day, I laid her down for a nap, and she woke up screaming that she wasn't ready to go back home to him. What? I took my four-year-old nephew to see my new house. First thing he says to me after seeing the house, Thea, you're going to die in this house. I'm sorry, what? I asked a friend's son what he was digging for. He responded, dead bodies. What, you've never seen a dead body? Why am I trying to think if I've seen a dead body? Of course not, right? Right? Scary Things Kids Say Part 47 I was about two months pregnant making grilled cheese sandwiches for my nephew. I asked him if he wanted one and he told me no, he wants a boy cheese sandwich and the baby in my tummy can have the girl cheese sandwich. Come to find out months later I was having a girl. My four-year-old cousin also came up to me, sat on my lap and started laughing. I asked him, what's funny? And he goes, it's a funny baby in your stomach. I didn't even tell no one I was pregnant yet. 
Tonight, while we're getting ready for bed, two-year-old whispers, there's a monster right there. Me, where? Two-year-old, right there, points to nothing. Me, oh. Two-year-old, we have to get out now. The only time I'd listen to a two-year-old would be in this situation right here. <laughs> Scary Things Kids Say Part 48 Walking to school one morning, my daughter, then seven, asked me completely out of nowhere, would you rather live in pain or die in agony? Still not sure whether it was a question or a threat. I hadn't seen the cat belonging to my neighbor's kid in a few days. Me to the neighbor, what happened to your cat? Kid, her neck snapped. Also kid, smiles sweetly. Don't come for me, okay? Do not come for me. My 20-month-old son, in a strong British accent, said, Mother, of course. <laughs> okay, I got this. I got this. My 20 month old son, in a strong British accent, said, Mother, I'm very cross with you. We are not British and have no friends with that accent. I have a feeling I'm about to get dragged by the Brits, but I am no way, shape, or form making fun of your accent, okay? I love it. It's just like, I'm a Latina trying to make a British accent, and that sh it don't make sense. Scary Things Kids Say Part 49 My mom sleeps in the basement with my niece and nephews whenever they stay at our house. And she said one morning my four-year-old nephew woke up and asked her, Nana, did you hear the walls talking to me last night? When my little brother was five, he was meeting our family friend for the first time. He looked at her with these big eyes and said, You will regret this night. Okay. After putting a kid on timeout, Kid, when I grow up, I'm going to be a firefighter and if your house burns, I'm going to help you. Think about that. One time we were outside a night clinic because my mom took my brother. So my little brother, stepdad, stepbrother and I all stayed in the car. My little brother randomly goes, who's the lady with no eyes? And we all just stared at each other because there's literally no one around us. Scary Things Kids Say Part 50 I was babysitting one time and the house had a wine cellar. I asked the boy, what's in there? And he goes, oh, that's where we keep the dead bodies. Once, when I was like 7 or 8, my mom made chicken pies for dinner. I didn't want to eat, so instead I randomly went 1, 2, 3, stab in the heart, and stab the pie. Just realized that my mom was probably shook at that madness. This seven-year-old I watched liked to call herself Supergirl. And one day, she told me she had a drawing for me. When she gave it to me, the drawing was of a cemetery and there was a tombstone that said, Rest in peace, Supergirl. She just chuckled and skipped away. What the fuck?